g'day welcome back to now we can see it and as we can see it we've done a little bit more since the last video well we we're talking last time about warframes and i'm going to continue on with that there have been some changes in the last video i spoke about how we had made the kitchen out of the timber frame and uh, we decided to use the studs as with the uh, kitchen as well as the bed frames as well which you'll see shortly so why the we've changed it multiple different reasons we have plenty of material left over and the second is when we're going to run our timber frames around here and then put our butterfly hinges on we've got something to screw onto as well there's a bit more of a width there makes it nice and pretty we are going to have just your standard kitchen doors that are going to open and close so now we can see that we've got our gas hot plate when we're off grid as well very handy our uh, sinks in just for a cosmetic look and um under here my wife has gone a little bit um decory uh is the washing machine sitting under here which will be on a piano hinge so over here my wife just put some cushions just to make it uh i guess the illustration we put some flooring down which is fantastic and we finished the drawers so all the kitchen is going to have is multiple different drawers that we can change around depending on what we're doing now i did change this one near the hot water system so we can use it as a pantry further forward of the wheels too so we can get a bit more weight in that area let's head down to the master bedroom so to speak and we'll have a look at what my wife has done and what we're going to do in the future so one of the questions we have been asked is you know you're starting to deck out and the wiring hasn't been done yet that's very true we have made it in a way that we can remove everything one of the reasons is my wife is very visual so she wants to be able to see how things are going to look hence why we've got everything sort of set out at the moment and we've got these color palettes down here of different samples that my wife lisa is trying to work out what colors are going to suit with everything else that's going on within the caravan as well so we've got the floor so right we are looking at going for either these two colors here at present and um what we're going to do in the future is uh these overhead cupboards here are just going to have a another panel over them and they're going to have the lift up doors on it for storage uh, this is going to be panel straight out so this window will disappear on my left and there'll be a bed head here with just a narrow shelf with some reading lights that can go in there um, where the window ledge is here whoever had the van before us used craft wood never ever use craft wood when it's around any type of moisture as you can see it has swollen greatly so we're going to replace that with the same marine pliers that we have on the kitchen bench and that'll be a nice little ledge that my wife can put whatever she wants her phone um, even you know little plants or what have you so here on my left gap here of around about 200 mil so we're going to put a slide out cabinet here and in that is going to be for lisa's um, long dresses or what have you can uh, fit in there Anyway, this is our daughter's bed, nice big baskets here so she can put her bits and pieces in and her arts and crafts. We're going to do another window ledge through here as well. Uh, this is one of the noggins that we have done here for the power point. So the top one will be for the um, light here and the bottom one will be for the toilet. Down the end of Grace's bed here on the wall, we're going to noggin that out. That's going to have a TV on it and uh, 12 volt and 240 volt. Again, these overheads that you see here, we're going to put a nice panel across them or cut out where the existing doors are and put a, uh, a lift up door there. And on the bed head where the original fridge was, we're going to just clad that out and put a nice little bed head there. This window here is shattered in the corner. And we did find a lady on um, YouTube that showed how to do it. So uh, we're going to have a go at that in a future day and they'll be tinted as well. So moving around to standing right in front of the door behind me is the toilet. So by swinging this toilet seat around, we've gained enough space to um, have plenty of room in there. And we're starting to log out again. So again, timbers in there, you're ready for the paper holder and um we and everything else it's going to be part of the caravan as well down below here we have got a 3000 watt inverter and this is going under grace's bed but underneath here there's a lot of room left over and we're going to use that where the drawers haven't been interfered with to put a hatch on the outside and a um a viewing point on top of the bed there and that's where our batteries will go uh on this wall which is inside the the toilet here 
Um, so on this fascia here, we're looking at possibly putting the control panels because at night we don't want them to illuminate and basically be too bright for the caravan. So if we need to have any controls of solar or water levels and things like that, we're thinking at this point that's where it's going to go. So the overhead cupboard that you see there with the shelving, which is just a very rough one out of scrap at the moment, we're going to continue with this aluminium uh, moulding that's kind of current for these type of caravans. We're going to use a black rod and we're going to have this over help, overhead shelf rather run all the way to where the hot plate will finish here on this wall. And we've ordered off eBay a channel so then when we run our LED lights strip that'll sit and be routed inside or underneath the overhead so it gives a slim line look. And we may even do that throughout here as well. We're going to run some just standard down lights through the centre of the caravan. Baskets are, are now visible under the uh, master bedroom. Behind that is around about a 800 mil gap. So that allows us from both sides, this side especially, we're going to run um, a great big, we've got a 1200 mil to 15 100 mil lockable slider and that's going to be able to slide out from underneath the bed for the barbecue or just a flat table as well that we can use for for the girls if they want to do arts and crafts or if the grandkids are over and that little box just sitting there is a tv mount that's going to go on so as we're back here in the bed we can watch tv well that's pretty much it from us at the moment thanks very much for um checking out our video we um are learning as we go along we've got 460 watt panels on the roof as well and that's because our fridge is a 12 volt only um as far as we know and um that's pretty much it we look forward to sharing with you more information about how we get hold of uh materials and what have you along the way and you anyway we'll see you next time hopefully we'll have some walls done by then Uru.